I have a problem. I really like house plants, but I cannot for the life of me keep them alive. Mostly because I forget to water them, and plants kind of need water to live. So today we're over engineering a solution to remind me to water my plants. First, we need our test subject. For this, I grabbed an orchid. For the brains of this project, I'm using a Raspberry Pi Pico W. Next, we're going to break off a piece of bark here. I got this from the local pet store. This is actually going to be what we use for the moisture sensor. This piece here should work nicely. After that, we have to drill a couple of holes into the bark to embed the wires into. Now with that ready to go, we'll mix up some 5 minute epoxy which will be used to secure the wires in place. After a thorough mixing, I'm going to go ahead and strip these wires and what we're doing here is we're actually going to tin the wires so that they slide into the holes that we drilled earlier nice and easy. With the wires nicely in place, I'm now going to put some epoxy on to properly secure them. Now with the epoxy dry, I can actually test out this homemade moisture sensor by placing it in some water. However, this being cork bark, it needs some coercion to stay under. After letting it soak for a while, I could whip out the multimeter to test the resistance. This would tell me if it was conducting electricity between the two electrodes embedded into the bark. With the moisture sensor working, I could move on to working on the rest of the electronics. Cue soldering montage. Now, with the electronics all done, it is time for the most exciting part of any poorly written Hollywood film, programming. Now, for the few that care, I will have the GitHub link in the description below, and I'll also quickly touch on how I'm doing it here. I'm using an AWS Lambda function, as well as Amazon's email service to handle the actual notification via email, because I don't want to mess with setting up an email server or anything like that. And then the Pico itself is just sending a HTTP POST request to the Lambda function, which triggers the email to be sent out. After trimming the moisture sensor down to a more manageable size, it was time to start final assembly. With it fully assembled, let's plug it in and see if it works. And now, we wait. Success! My plants can now talk to me. Well there we go. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun making it. Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And remember, don't try this stuff at home.